Hey guys, welcome back to the Second Time Lucky Mining Channel. In today's quick video, we are going to take a tour of my GPU farm. What does that mean? Well, we're going to have a look and see what do I have mining here in the garage. Okay, so here we are in the garage. I've switched the miners off just to make it a little bit more quiet, but this is my mining operation. I've installed a rack here, and as you can see, I've got some of my boxes and this chair there should look familiar. Now, if you remember and you've watched some of my previous videos, that's the chair that I used to have in the old location. And again, that's probably the other thing that you've noticed here. In the past or in the other location, it looked slightly different. And the big reason for that is I did move location. Now, let's start off with, I guess in the top left here, the power situation. So let me just scoot over to the left. You can see there, left a hole there in the wall um, if i open up this uh, what i've done or what my electrician friend has done for me and thanks again for helping is he's installed uh, three 15 amp breakers here so unfortunately that's the total power that i've got at the house coming from the wall is a hundred amps and i've dedicated 45 amps specifically to mining now um, again on the left hand side this is my little uh, what we call it <laughs> home lab so this is where i've got my small mini pcs where i run all my vms all things like that now if i just move a little bit further backwards as you guys can see here i've got a couple of pcs here on the left i've got a ton of boxes here at the top um, some power supplies and more boxes that's got boxes in them uh, but anyway so on the left hand side i've got a couple of pcs on the right hand side, I've got a couple of octaminers. So in total, I've got, oof, how much is this? So I've got four octaminers. They are normally full of GPUs. So what's that, 32 GPUs. And then I've got about uh, 10 GPUs in total, specifically for vast and proof of useful work um, at the end of the day. So that's sort of what I have. What's that, 32, uh, 42. Yes, yeah, so I've got about 42 GPUs. Uh, in the garage mining now what that does mean though if everything is up and running it actually gets quite hot here and that's the other thing that you've noticed there isn't a lot of ventilation it's the middle of summer so it's pretty hot here it's early morning so it's not that hot at the moment and i've switched some of the miners off but this is sort of the temperatures um, that you can expect now again sort of what gpus do i have what am i running so if i scoot over here starting from the left and we'll work our way specifically to the right what you would see here is that is my FPGA. If you've watched my previous videos, I guess the first one I did was when I started mining Casper with it. This has been a stalwart specifically for me. Um, yes, I do know it's expensive. You can probably get some ASICs now. At that time when I bought it, there wasn't an ASIC. Um, but yeah, so at the moment it's mining Ironfish. I still have it on Ironfish. The hash rate's actually dipped a little bit the last couple of days, so I'm happy for it to be on Ironfish. Um, at the top here, it's just the 4UK, so I do need to populate that still with uh, a whole PC and pop it here at the bottom in my rack, so I still need to go ahead and do that. Anyway, so here at the top, again, it's just more boxes. Now, what you would see here, this is my vast AI rig, so the one here on the left-hand side, that's the uh, Threadripper, a first-gen Threadripper. I've got at the moment i've got two a4000s in there at the moment so that's what i've got there if i scoot over at the bottom here again that's another vast rig at the moment or proof of useful work so again as soon as flux launches a product that um, you know i can actually run and get paid for um, you know i might switch these rigs over but anyway so this is my vast rig it's got five A4000s. Again, if you've watched the channel, you would have seen me build <laughs> specifically in this rig. So you would have me seen build that. And if you notice quite carefully, um, I forgot to put the back plate on. <laughs> so that is on me. Luckily, if I scoot over to the right hand side here, you can see um, this one looks very much the same. And again, it's probably is because it's sort of the same. It's just a different CPU. I do love my Noctia fans and that's why I can have the camera here. It's not super loud um, and it cools quite nicely. But anyway, so as you can see, that's another vast rig, another four A4000. So as I've mentioned, there's about uh, 10 GPUs dedicated to vast. Now, if I scoot over to the bottom, 
Uh, again, that is a GPU rig, and as you can see, it's off at the moment, but this is my 3070 rig that I've got at home. So if you look carefully here, you'll probably see, um, you know, if you're familiar with G these GPUs, you would see there's a couple of EVGAs for the Win 3s there. So it's just my 3070 rig at the end of the day. Now, if I move a little bit further up here, again, um, my GPUs is sort of split uh, with the VAR stuff. It's more NVIDIA at the moment, but generally speaking, in terms of GPUs, it would be a nice split between um, AMD and NVIDIA, but yeah, unfortunately with VOS you can only have uh, NVIDIA GPUs and with most proof of useful work stuff, so that's why there's more of a NVIDIA focus here at the moment. But anyway, so I digress, so if I go here and look at the next Octominer that I specifically got here, and I actually got two Octominers, this is the E10 server, and as you can see how deep it is, it's fairly massive compared to an Octominer, it's not as wide, obviously because it needs to be able to fit in a rack like that, but um, that's what we've got here. Now, normally what you would have seen here is this GPU rig would have been full of GPU, so what's missing here is the four 2080 Ti. So what I've done is I'm doing a bit of testing here, so I've populated them um, within the Octa server. I'm helping with a little bit of testing at the moment, so again, so I've taken them out of my GPU rig, and slotted them into that. As a result, I'm not running um, this at the moment. But unfortunately, this Octo server is so, so, so loud. Um, anyway, so that's why I don't have it on all the time. What I want to do is pop it back into the box there, but anyway, that's uh, maybe a, something for a different day. Um, at the back there, I've got my little switch here. So that's a smart switch. Again, you don't need stuff like that. I'll show you guys when I move a little bit more to the right what I've used for the longest time. What you would also see is uh, all of my different PDUs. So these are 15 amp uh, PDUs. They've got two, I always forget the C19 and the C14 cables. Um, that's basically what I use. And the big reason why I used this in the past is it's nice and short. That's the big reason uh, why I like to use these specific ones here. Uh, it's come to bite me a little bit in the backside now that I do the vast rigs. Why is that is normally if you just use these C13 cables, it's not an issue because there's lots of them there, but there's only two C19 cables there. So, um, but all of my vast rigs specifically, they take C19. As you can see, this is a, a massively thick cable here. Um, and that's because that's what comes with these EVGA 1600 watt power supplies. Now what I also have here, if I just scoot here at the bottom, this is just my stuff that I use specifically for testing. So that's a little monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. <laughs> it just makes it easier to troubleshoot stuff here in the garage. Now if I scoot over a little bit more to the right here, and these two rigs are my two AMD rigs. So they are dedicated AMD rigs. The one at the bottom here is um, 6800 XTs mainly, so I've got five 6800 XTs within that, and I think three 6800s non-XTs. The one at the top, I have basically 6700 XTs, so there's seven 6700 XTs, and then one, and if I zoom in a little bit, that is a 7900 XT. So I've got one 7900 XT there. Um, I've bought to review in the channel way back when, when it was launched, um, and then only found out that a lot of the mining software is, was still baked with kernel version of Linux version five. So that was problematic for me to test that. But anyway, so most of the mining OSs does support it now. I just haven't come around to actually, um, you know, doing a video sitting down and playing with it. I did test it with my 7900 XTX, and that wasn't the best experience as per se. Um, and then uh, what I have left here on the right, probably like most other miners, I've got a ton of spares, <laughs> stuff that um, I just have extra. As you would see, I've got a couple of motherboards here. Um, that's a super, super micro motherboard here. This is, I think it's a meter box, I can't remember. I've got a spare, what is this? Uh, this is a NVMe, I think this is a four terabyte. Let me just take that out. 
yeah, it's four terabyte. I haven't gone to install it. Um, I've been gathering some of the components to build another vast rig, but um, I'm saving up slowly, but surely. <laughs> uh, in this box here, I've got just power cables here, as you would see. Um, it's just extra power cables that I can use or not use. So um, again, just extra power cables here. Uh, I used to use a lot of this. Um, so if you remember back in the old location, I had the rigs spread out everywhere, so I used these uh, extenders. In here is just normal dumb switches, and again, using dumb switches, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it used to be things like this, so let me just show you here. It's probably what a lot of people use, these cheap Netgear ones. I've got here some truck meters. Again, I need to install that so it looks nice and pretty. At the bottom here is just like thermal paste, thermal pads, network cables. I've got show you guys here a 1050 ti that i use for testing it's quite nice because it doesn't have any power cable so you can just slot it in and do your testing and then i've got some extra extra ram here um, i think it's 256 gigabytes of ram um, yeah just power meters i should have another gpu in here i think yeah so i do have another a4000 that I need to go ahead and install. So what is that? Uh, 43 GPUs. Now, the other thing, um, I've got a, more boxes here at the bottom again, stuff that I need to unbox. Um, that is more space for vast rig. Again, I'm still saving up all my weekly earnings to hopefully get another vast rig or proof of useful work again. If Flux um, launches their products, I will definitely go ahead and support them and give them a fair shakeout and a fair try. And again, this is sort of what my farm looks like. Now, what, I, what you don't see here is I've got two more rigs hosted um, at Terra. And again, the experience at Terra has been great. I'm not affiliated or sponsored or anything like that. Um, I just ran out of power and they had a good deal on GPUs last year. So I went and bought um, two rigs that I've specifically got hosted at Terra. It's a 3070 rig and a 6700 XT rig. So I do have two rigs hosted. Uh, again, previously I was pretty much opposed to that, but um, you know, I sort of bit the bullet when I ran out of power at the other location. So worked out well. Um, those two rigs is all on all the time. And as you can see here, my GPUs are off at the moment. The big thing like any other miner is the cost of power and where I am in Australia, power is not necessarily cheap, but it's also not the most expensive. I've got variable power at the moment. And what that means is certain times at the day, it's um, cheap and other times of the day, it's expensive. So every half an hour, the price changes. And what I try and do is as soon as it's cheap, I switch on everything that I've got. So obviously, as you can see here, the vast rigs are on all the time. So that's sort of the exception. But in terms of GPUs, um, whenever it's cheap, I switch on all my rigs. Um, if it's not, I just switch them off. So at the moment, it's pretty cheap. So I'll switch them on as soon as the <laughs> I'm done with this video. Uh, but yeah, so that's sort of um, you know what my power situation is. In terms of price, sorry, I forgot to, to mention that. Um, <sighs> It really, it's, it can really vary. It can be really, really cheap, um, and then it can be super expensive. On average though, uh, if you average over a month, uh, it's probably about, um, I don't know, uh, 20 to 24 Australian cents. So let's say about, I don't know, 15 to um, 18 US cents is sort of what I pay per kilowatt hour. Um, here in Australia, at least in this location here. So at the moment, this is sort of what my farm looks like. So as I mentioned, probably here in the garage, about 40 GPUs, and then I've got another 16, um, you know, over in, in the US. Uh, that's what I have and what I've accumulated, um, luckily over the bear market, so it's been good. I had a couple of goals, so maybe I'll do a separate video of all of my goals that I had before the bear run or when the bear run hit, sort of what I wanted to accumulate. So at least at this stage, I'm happy with what I got. I don't think I'm going to add any more GPUs. 80% uh, rule here uh, in the garage, uh, I'm running out of power. And number one, <laughs> it's pretty hot here without ventilation. So I'm not really looking to add any more GPUs. I might cycle them out as soon as the new GPU is launched, but um, yeah, that, that's probably what I would rather do. I'm keen to get some 
GPUs that will have GDDR7. Um, so I'm quite keen to get the new memory and hopefully it's good on the memory algorithm. So that's really what, what I hope for. So this is really what my, my farm looks like. Um, I've got a helium, you probably see a antenna literally behind, whoops, sort of at the back there sticking out. So I've got the helium miner also switched on here. Not that I monitor that much. Um, it's just there in the background earning a little bit of um, helium or IoT or whatever it's called these days. But yeah, that's really what my farm looks like in terms of what am I mining? Well, it really depends on what the yield is. Um, I am really trying to uh, build my ergo bag. So that's probably the, the coin that I mine regardless. So that I would mine, I'll tend to dual mine. So I'll always mine ergo and then whatever I can mine ergo with. Um, and again, uh, there's only a couple of stuff that you can dual mine with ergo, but you can mine radiant, you can mine uh, iron fish, you can mine um, a couple of different things. So at the moment, um, I toggle what I mine with ergo again, what I can mine with ergo, wherever the yield is pretty good. So at the moment, iron fish yield is pretty good. So that's sort of where I am specifically at the moment. That's it for this video guys, but I'd love to know what GPUs you've got mining and what coins you've got mining, if you could please specify in the comments. Otherwise, if you've liked the video, please like the video and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. If you didn't, please specify in the comments what you would like me to change. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.